Welcome to the CrowdStrike Falcon platform. At this point, you've hopefully had a chance to install the sensor. I would now like to generate some detections. In this short demo, we'll generate your first detection. Then, look at the detection in the Falcon user interface. On a system with a recently installed Falcon sensor, I'll open a command prompt. My first action is to verify that the sensor is installed and running. To do this, type sc space query space cs agent, then hit return. We see in the output that the service is currently running. Another quick check is to use the netstat-f command to verify the agent has established a connection to the CrowdStrike cloud. To test connectivity between the host and the console, CrowdStrike has created an easy way to verify your installation. In the command prompt on the host, type choice space forward slash m space CrowdStrike underscore sample underscore detection, all one word. The prompt will ask you for a Y or an N. I'll select Y, but typing N will achieve the same result. In the Falcon user interface, there's a new detection indicated in the dashboard. Clicking on the new detection, I get the activity page with all recent alerts. Inspecting this alert further, our process tree shows that a command prompt was opened, and then choice.exe was the file that triggered the detection. On the right, additional details are available, including the command line argument used and file hash associated with choice.exe. We have now validated that the sensor is installed and communicating correctly with the Falcon user interface. Next, I'll test the prevention policy to see if malware will get blocked without risking infection. To do this, we'll use cs underscore maltest. On the test system, I've got a copy of this on the desktop that I'll try to execute. As I try to run the application, three things happen. First, the application on the desktop disappears as the file gets quarantined. Second is a Windows error message stating the file is no longer available to run. And the third is the notification from the Falcon sensor indicating that a process was blocked because malicious behavior was detected. In the Falcon UI, there's a new detection associated with this. As we expand the details, we see that maltest was run from explorer.exe and was prevented from running. On the right, we see details of CS maltest. We now know that the sensor is installed and working properly. We'd like to change our policy. Scroll down until we get to the on right category where we'll enable both quarantine and detect on right. Then save any changes. Back on our host, we'll copy ransomware from a zipped and password protected file. As soon as the file has been extracted to the desktop, it's quarantined. This detection in the Falcon console has a white badge. A white badge indicates that a process was killed or an operation was blocked. We have confirmed that the sensor is now behaving as expected and changes to the policy have been applied. You are now ready to deploy the Falcon sensor to a larger set of hosts and take advantage of the added visibility and protection that Falcon provides.